good day everyone welcome back to tech genie so in this video i will be showing you how to permanently disable the defender entire virus on windows 11 without using any kind of tool or without using any kind of software however it's not recommended that you should disable the windows security but due to any reason or probably you are using any kind of third party entire virus then you can permanently disable it without using any kind of tool now the very first thing that you will have to do you need to open up your settings so right click on windows icon then click on settings now here in the setting search you have to type virus you will be getting virus and threat protection click on it now here under virus and threat protection settings you will have to click on manage settings and disable the real time protection and the tamper protection once it's been disabled now you can close it now next click on your windows search type registry click on registry editor from the suggestion and the registry editor box will now be coming up so here from the registry editor from the left hand menu option you will have to look for hk local machine double click on it then double click on software in the software you have to look for policies double click on it then double click on microsoft and in microsoft you will be getting windows defender so once you come to windows defender on the right hand side you will have to make a right click hover up to new choose door 32 bit value and rename it as disable anti spyware you need to type exactly as i typed over here once you have renamed make a double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok again make a right click here hover up to new choose door 32 bit value and rename it as disable real time monitoring once renamed again double click on it change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok again right click on the blank space over up to do choose door 32 bit value and this one you have to rename it as disable anti virus again double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok right click on the blank space again over up to new choose door 32 bit value this one you have to rename it as disable special running modes once done double click on it change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok again right click on the blank space hover up to new choose do or 32 bit value and rename it as disable routinely taking action once renamed double click on it change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok again right click hover up to new choose do or 32 bit value this one you have to name as service keep alive double click on it change the value data from 0 to 1 again Alright, so once we are done from here, again right click on Windows Defender folder from the left hand menu option. Hold up to new, select key and rename this key as real dash time space protection. So once the key has been created, you can click on it. Then on the right hand side, again make a right click, hold up to new, choose do or 32 bit value and rename it as disable behavior monitoring. Again double click on it, change the value data to 1 click on ok right click again hover up to new choose dot 32 bit value name this as disable on access protection again double click on it change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok right click again hover up to new choose dot 32 bit value rename it as disable real time monitoring once done again double click on it change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok now we are only remaining with the last value here so right click on it choose new do a 32 bit value and rename it as disable scan on real time enable again double click on it change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok now again right click on the windows defender from the left hand menu option hover up to new choose key rename this key as signature update once renamed click on it then on the right hand side again right click on it hover up to new choose do or 32 bit value and rename it as force update from mu double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1 again again right click on windows defender folder from the left menu option hover up to new choose key rename it as spynet now click on spynet then on the right hand side again right click on it hover up to new choose do or 32 bit value and this you have to rename it as disable block at first scene make sure that you don't make any kind of mistake 
once you have renamed double click on it change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok now finally you are all done so this time if i go ahead and restart the computer so let me show you let me quickly go ahead and restart all right so the computer has been finally restarted so this time if i click on my windows search and search for virus and click on virus and threat protection so now you can see that i'm getting this error that says your virus and threat protection is managed by your organization so your windows security has been permanently been disabled all right now in future if you change your mind and you want to re-enable it back then again what you have to do you need to click on your window search type registry click on registry editor click on yes and you need to come to the same location hq local machine software policies if you want to save it then you can save it you can also take the screenshot of it and then you have to delete all the keys that you have created here so you can select them all right click on it and choose delete do the same that you have created here real time protection signature update is spynet all right so whatever keys whatever values you have created you will have to go ahead and delete them all again once you will restart the computer the windows security will be re-enabled so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye